Welcome, I'm Antony Nantosh, and you are watching Head to Head with UA TV. Docu Days UA International Human Rights Documentary Film Festival took place in Kyiv this week. Among other films related to social problems and challenges, a documentary, Distant Barking of Dogs, has been demonstrated. The film tells the story of a 10 year old boy who lives in the Donetsk region of Ukraine with his grandmother, and in 2014, their house has turned out to be situated in between the front lines. The war is so close, one can physically hear the echoes of shooting daily. And today we're joined in the studio by Monica Hellstrom, a member of international team who made this documentary. Hello, Monica, and thank you for joining us. Hello, thank you. So what is the documentary about? I've already briefly described it. It's about a life of a 10-year-old uh, boy who lives on the front, basically on the front line, in between yeah. two front lines. But also, what is the documentary about? I think the film is about uh, what makes you be able to live through something like this. And the film is about relationships, so the relationship between the grandmother and Oleg, uh, mm -hmm. her grandson, and about how they together manage to have a normal, a normal day uh, everyday life despite the war going on mm -hmm. so it's about growing up in war zone and what it means and it's about the relationship that is so important for oh. survival all right i think we would like to give a taste to our audience of yeah. the documentary so how about a fragment there it is <laughs> Мы оказались между двух огней. Костя. Да. Это чуть погромче. Ну, это тогда, помнишь, когда вчера вот это стреляли, то походу туда упала она. А, да, люди. Которые пролетают прямо у нас над головой. Так огнутому внаслідок ворожого автомобілю було пошкоджено чотири будинки в вибиті швидке. Коли солдати прийшли, люди ушли. Ми нікуди не їдемо. Як говорять в Україні, кожна собака лев в своєму домі. Стреляют, мне очень тебя не хватает. Пока, Мака. Что ты тут оставаться хочешь? Пошел туда, бабушка. Или баба тебя пойти. Что-то гудит, да, Костя? Нет. Мы, мужики, должны перетерпевать все. So what happened to Oleg's parents? Did uh, the war take their lives? No, Oleg's mom uh, died when he was very young. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Oleg's far, uh, dad uh, is not well enough to look after him. All right. Um, did you join the production team for this documentary from the very beginning or was it? Yeah, um, so I'm the producer of the film and uh, Simon came to me with mm -hmm. the idea of making this film. And together we, we worked on the film from the beginning to the end. What is the but hardest thing shooting such a documentary about the child living through the war? I think it's meeting and coming very close to this family and mm -hmm. becoming a part of their life. Uh, mm -hmm. For Simon, I, I didn't go there myself, but Simon went there for a year and a half and, uh, and then leaving them again. I think that's very difficult, flying back to Denmark. Okay. Um, did you um, did you hear like were were you already in Ukraine when the conflict in eastern in the east of the country started, no. or you just came for the documentary? We, we, um, yeah, Simon wanted to do a film about mm -hmm. what happened there. Are are you planning on shooting more documentaries on this topic, or is this the only one? Uh, I think um, I, I think Simon is not done with this region and about uh, working in conflict zones and about telling stories about relationships. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, uh, the Distant Barking of Dogs has already won several awards. Uh, where else do you plan to show the movie, except for, like, you have already uh, demonstrated it on the Docu Days Festival? Where yeah. else? 
it's it's actually planned to be shown all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to Canada uh, in a few weeks and San Francisco. Um, it's been screened in Hong Kong. Uh -huh. um, it's been booked to many festivals. Some of them we can't say yet. Okay. It's not public, but all right. it's going all over the world, and uh, we're very in, moved by the, how the audience is, has reacted to the film. So. Uh, having produced this movie, what do you think? How does the war affect children? Um, I th I think it's very important for the children in war zones that they have someone like Ulik's grandmother, mm -hmm. like their relationship. I think it's very important that they have someone that can support them and somehow shelter their life when they're there. Because, uh, like, what I think is that one of these days, these kids are going to turn into adults, grow up, and will have to lead a normal everyday life because the war has to be over at one point. How do they come over this this horror that they had to survive being little children with, you know, with all these obstacles they had to overcome? I think that's difficult. But we had two uh, psychiatrists uh, watching the film that mm -hmm. works with the children mm -hmm. in trauma or oh, in war she, zones. Did she or he say? They actually said that looking at the grandmother, it seems that she's doing everything right. She's giving the children some freedom to play and have a normal life. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, she sheltered them uh, from all the horrible things going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so this is this really is very important for having a normal life. Okay, yeah. this is the, 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 the advice, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to every grandmother or grandfather or mother or yeah. father to, to behave the correct way during uh, the times of war. Do you, do you now, do you, in future, do you plan to shoot more documentaries based on war? Uh, it depends. Uh, we're doing, uh, the, the company I work for, do documentaries from all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, so war is not the key subject here? It's, it's not the key the subject, it's uh, like human interest stories that mm -hmm. we find important. Mm -hmm. All right, what else do you find particularly interesting in Ukraine that you could probably shoot a documentary on? Why is Ukraine? Why could Ukraine be interesting, <laughs> except for war? I, I think uh, the Ukrainian culture is so exciting and, and interesting, and uh, there's many different topics that is important here. I think f for uh, for me as a producer, it will always be with the human interest mm -hmm. angle that w that I would go into it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming, and thank you so much for telling us about this amazing documentary you're producing right now. That was Monica Hellstrom. She's the producer of Distant Barking of Dogs documentary. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned with UATV.